Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and we want to take a look today at Bitfinex and I want to show you how Bitfinex works and what's so special about Bitfinex. So first of all, Bitfinex is one of the top five exchanges, crypto exchanges worldwide. And it's mostly used by professional traders and by institutions. And the reason for that is that the platform is really performant, so you can execute trades at basically all time. And even if there's a high demand or um, a lot of volatility in the market, you can always use Bitfinex because um, the platform and the technical side of the platform um, is very well done. It's not the case um, with other exchanges, for example. And you have a lot of liquidity on Bitfinex. Um, it's actually the most liquid platform that there is. So if you want to buy or sell huge amounts of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, um, Bitfinex is actually the best place to go and because there's a lot of demand and supply. So that's why most of the institutions actually trade on Bitfinex. If you don't have an account yet, feel free to use the link down in the description. With that account, you sometimes get special perks if you sign up and create an account with it. Um, you also have to know that um, you need to verify if you want to trade on Bitfinex. So once you sign up, they ask you for a picture of an ID or your passport um, in order to verify your account. And then you are also able to deposit and withdraw fiat currencies like euros, for example. However, um, if you want to deposit fiat currencies, let's say you want to deposit USD or Euro, and you have to deposit at least 10,000 euros, for example, and you have to withdraw at least 10,000 euros. So that's why I said it's mostly used by professional traders and more advanced traders or institutions. And because it doesn't make sense to just trade um, small amounts on Bitfinex. There are other platforms that are better for it. For example, Binance is a platform you should use if you just want to trade um, a few euros or a few hundred euros. So it's more for professional users um, designed here. So that's why um, Bitfinex is not for everyone. So once you have access to the platform, um, you can see the menu on the top here. And um, first of all, you have trading. So that's the regular trading screen. Then you have um, derivatives. And um, that's actually um, futures trading. So you can trade futures like um, Bitcoin perp, so Bitcoin perpetual contracts, Bitcoin future contracts. And you can trade that with leverage and um, everything that you can do on other platforms like BitMEX or Binance as well. And then you have funding here. Funding is a place where you can lend and borrow cryptocurrencies. So let's say you have um, two Bitcoins and you want to lend them out in order to um, receive a fee for that um, or some interest, then you can use lending. And then you have OTC here, which means over the counter. That is basically if you want to buy or sell big amounts of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies, then you would use um, OTC because um, you don't want to um, hurt the market that much. Let's say you want to sell a huge amount of Bitcoins and it would actually drop the price here, depending on the liquidity of the platform quite significantly and depending how much you want to sell. And that's why um, for huge trades, you would usually use um, OTC deals. And the other thing we have can look at are the fees. So if you want to buy or sell something on Bitfinex, um, you are basically paying 0.1% or 0.2%. So there's a difference between maker and taker fees. Um, I will explain that later. However, you have to keep in mind, take a fee you will get if you do a limit order and make a fee you will get if you do a limit order and take a fee you will get um, or you have to pay if you are doing a market order. Um, so if you want to start trading, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit some money 
and therefore we, we can click here on deposit and then you can choose if you want to deposit a fiat currency or any cryptocurrency here that is traded on Bitfinex like Bitcoin for example or Ethereum or whatever. So then you can just click there. Let's say you want to deposit Bitcoin. Then you can see you have three wallets here. An exchange wallet, a margin wallet and a funding wallet. And it doesn't really matter where you deposit it because you are always able to move funds around between these wallets and you don't pay a fee for that and you don't have to wait. So it actually moves within a second or so. So quite fast. So um, if you want to trade spot Bitcoin, so if you want to buy or sell Bitcoins without leverage or anything, and then the exchange wallet would be the one. If you want to trade with leverage, you would use the margin wallet. And if you want to lend your Bitcoins out or any other cryptocurrency, you would use the funding wallet. But as I said, you can easily move them around between these wallets without paying any fee. And once you have deposited something and you can see here under wallet um, the amount you have in your wallets. And here you could also transfer them. Let's say you want to transfer USD from funding here to exchange. Then you can just click here and then you type in the amount and then you click transfer and it will do it immediately basically. So let's start trading. So first of all, you have to pick a trading pair. So let's say you want to trade BTC against USD, or you could also trade Ethereum against USD. Let's go back to Bitcoin or like any other cryptocurrency that is traded here. Um, then you have the chart here. And one candle is like it's a daily candle here. So you can also go down to like um, hourly candles. Takes a second to load. Well, and we will just move on. So you also, oh, now we have the chart and you can see the order book here. So in green, you have all the buy orders and in red, all the sell orders here. And then you have the latest trades. So let's say you want to buy something now. Let's say you want to buy Bitcoin. You can just um, use the order form here. Then you say can say you want to do a market order and then you want to buy, just keep it simple. 0.01 bitcoins and then you can see it would cost you around 45 us dollar and then you can just click exchange buy and the trade would be executed immediately um, so that's a market order a limit order is a bit different um, you still have to say how, how much you want to buy but then you also need to type in a price and um, that you are willing to pay for one bitcoin Let's say, okay, um, the Bitcoin price is now at 45,000 USD. Let's say, okay, you want to buy something and the price drops to 40,000 um, US dollars. And then you can do exchange buy. And then you would see it would go into order history here. And that's basically a limit order. So you are adding something to the order book. You are paying the lower fee because um, you are providing liquidity and the order will stay open until the price is reached. However, if the price never drops to that level, um, the order will never be executed. Um, and of course, you can cancel the order every time. And what you can also do is you can do exchange sell. And it's basically the same principle. You can say, oh, okay, I have, I don't know, and Bitcoin here and I want to sell one Bitcoin via market order and you just click exchange sell and it would execute the trade immediately or you say limit order okay I want to sell one Bitcoin if the price goes to 50,000 
USD and then you click exchange sell and the order would go into the order book until the price reaches that level. So that's basically it. We will not look at the derivatives platform yet because it's more for advanced traders and you need to trade with leverage. I just wanted to give you a brief overview how you can deposit some money here and how you can trade there. Um, you could also withdraw your money then. If you have BTC here and you want to withdraw against Euro, you have to sell it. Just picking BTC against Euro here and then adding then you add um, one Bitcoin that you want to sell, do a market order, for example, click exchange sell, and then you can go to withdraw here and um, withdraw it to your bank account. However, you have to keep in mind it costs you at least 10,000 USD. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you don't have an account yet, feel free to use the link to sign up. And if that video was helpful, please use, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.